What is up, everybody? It's your boy, the most flaccid celery, back again with another stream. This is actually technically a continuation from the last part. I went and I took a little break from Story Push to uh, run roulettes with somebody for my free company and to eat. Made myself an energy drink and got a stretch in. I've been live at this point for three and a half hours, a little over three and a half hours. Continue on with the story. Is this going to be a voiced cutscene, I wonder? Ah, there you are. La Matisse. Yes, it is. But I'm mute. Sphine. I was worried you might have had trouble at the checkpoint. But I see everything went according to plan. Well, that's thanks to you. Now, I know you've scarcely arrived, but I have a request to make of you. Oh, a request, you say? Yes, an important one. I'll say it plain. I want you to make peace with Zoralja. What? I thought you said you weren't on his side. We have come no closer to seeing eye to eye, nor do I condone his methods. Be that as it may, I don't want you to fight him. I don't want you to regret a decision made in anger and haste. Unequipped with regulators as you are, the risk is too great. I appreciate your concern, but you ask the impossible. Zorolja murdered our father. His minions slaughtered our countrymen. He will never renounce his war. As vow of resolve, it falls to me to stop him. I know you love your people too. And so you must understand how I feel. Why I cannot, will not back down. I do understand. All too well. Let me say only this, then. Zoralja will use any means to win. If you would protect your people, return to them at once and prepare. Prepare as best you can. It may ring hollow coming from the queen of an enemy nation. But unlike me, you still have the power to determine your own fate. You really are a curious one. Look, you needn't worry for us. We have dependable comrades holding the fort in Tulichola. They'll keep everyone safe, so we can devote our attention to affairs here. Please. So you have comrades on whom you can rely. I am for you. You know, we'd like to learn more about you. About me? To be frank, we're still not sure whether or not you're trustworthy. So, if you have a moment, 
Would you show us around the district? That way, we can get to know you better. <laughs> You're asking me, the Queen, to show you around? <laughs> oh, but I jest. I'm flattered that you've taken an interest in me. Very well. I shall be your guide. You're my guests, after all, and teaching you about my realm would be a pleasure in and of itself. If you like, I can introduce you to my citizens, too. I consider them family, as you do yours. <laughs> By all means, we're in your capable hands. That you are. This will be an enjoyable and enlightening tour. I promise. Alrighty, folks. Apologies for that. During that cutscene, I did get a phone call. This has been really interesting. This has so far kind of been my favorite stretch. Um, I'm already almost level 100 after those roulettes. Uh, that being said, I am also... on the now now on the last level 97 quest after that it is 18 for 98 to 99 Ooh, I'm getting request I'm getting a message about something Sorry for that. I was uh, responding to a musician, actually. Uh, <coughs> just getting shown around the area by Sveen. So that's fun. Very attuned to that Aetherite and one of the Aethernet shards. Going to the Nexus Arcade first. Uh, no, a band that I found on TikTok actually got a hold of me, asking if I want an opportunity to hear their music live. I was like, yeah, you know, they, they just announced a bunch of dates next month. I was like, you have any dates in Pennsylvania? Because I would love it. So now I'm waiting to hear back from them. PA born and bred. We you know how it is. So now she's just showing us the first place is the oh, they called it Nexus Arcade, but uh, so far it just looks like a shopping mall. It's got a bunch of different shops, you know, food and daily necessities, technological conveniences. Everkeep's interior is vast, as you've observed. This arcade makes it possible for people to acquire what they need in one centralized location. It's literally just a shopping mall. Amazing! How do you get to the upper levels? I don't see stairs. You see the glowing pattern over yonder? That is an automatic conveyor. Ooh! Such contra contraptions are found throughout Everkeep, allowing us to swiftly move between faraway places. That will spare us some walking. Are they also made from that strange metal elect what's it? Electrope? Chuckle, yes, the conveyors are powered by electrope. Uh, as a matter of fact, the ore is integrated in just about everything in Everkeep, even the floors and walls. Hmm. 
by etching arcane circuits upon it, Electrope can be used to convert lightning energy to those of other elements. In so doing, we can achieve various effects. For instance, a conversion to wind produces flotation, which is required for the propulsion of our flying vehicles. Conversion to fire, meanwhile, produces light and heat, and it is employed in, in devices such as street lamps and heaters. There are even self-heating cups that keep your drink warm. Crazy. Can you make a drink cold if you convert it to ice instead? You certainly can. Our vending machines do just that. What's more, multiple energies can also be combined to produce some clever effects. For instance, by manipulating the air with wind while projecting light with lightning, it is possible to alter one's appearance. It's almost scary what you can do with Electro. If such a wondrous material existed in our world, I imagine everyone would be fighting over it. She looks sad at that statement. That shop over here, what does it sell? Ah, yes, let's go and take a look. I dare say you will find it interesting. It's going to be weapons, I think. I just assume automatically when she looks at me and says I'm going to find it interesting, it's weapons. Just full stop. I think every time somebody looks at the main character who's a certified badass and says something like that, it's it's got to be weaponry. Nothing else. Really quickly, just got rid of a notification, which is why audio disappeared. Damn. Alright, now let's go speak with Sveen. This shop sells food. Ah, those are the items on the counter. That's food? I can't imagine what they taste like. <laughs> I thought you might be surprised. Your countrymen were too in the beginning. Come, you must sample something. Choose one and I will purchase it. Welcome, friends. How lucky you are for Her Majesty to treat you. The five items on display are our most popular. I recommend one of them if this is your first time. And another ad! I mean, another cutscene, rather. Select an item that interests you. Hexagons. Hmm. Let me go with the hexagon pattern bag, I guess. The salad paste. No. We're not going for salad paste. Cultivated steak. It's a chicken beef hybrid meal bar. The revivifying tonic. Sweet and salty. Stays fresh for over 10 years. So far, the most interesting one has been the steak. Synthetic fruit pellets. Alright. We're going for the steak. Chicken and beef hybrid. Gold label steak. She's going for the steak like me.
love to see our reactions if we sample it here and now. Look at that, at that. Everyone looks so much different. Let's dig in. Everybody looks like normal people in our world in attire. Which is interesting. <laughs> She's never had any meat like this before. It's tender like chicken, but flavorsome like Renek. And the spices give it just the right amount of kick. I could eat this every day. <laughs> Look, Lamont! <laughs> Jeez, Lamatie. I don't mind them. They're just happy to see your honest reaction. And how about you? Fantastic, pretty good, or interesting? I'm going to go with interesting. It's interesting. <laughs> it's always such a pleasure. My thanks for humoring me. Humoring me. I don't like you already. This does take me back. Though it was chaotic when the people of Tuliolol first arrived, we endeavored to learn about one another and embraced our differences. Ah, right. What about you, Sfeen? Aren't you having something to eat, too? I appreciate the thought, but I'm fine for now, thank you. Alright, but what's your favorite food, if you don't mind me asking? My favorite food? <laughs> Why do you wish to know this? Because I want to get to know you better. Why else? The more you know someone, the more you grow fond of them. That's what my old man believed. My experiences have led me to believe the same. <laughs> my favorite food. Hmm. It is. Is it such a difficult question? I don't know. I'm sorry, it's just. When I think of those who labor to bring us the food, I can't settle on one thing. <laughs> I thought I was indecisive, but you're something else. Thank you, Lamatier. Indecisive? Perhaps I am, but you don't need to laugh about it. Ah, yes. The fun. What in the... Can I stab it? I don't know what that is, but I want to stab it. I'm going to give it the stibbity stabbity. And it says Wooklamot is supposed to spawn in here to talk to, so... Now I have to wait for her to actually appear. There we are. All I had to do was make an action happen, apparently. I don't know about you, but I'm satisfied. Let's keep moving. Very well. Next, I was thinking of showing you the residential sector. But it's in part so I can tend to personal matters. It's a visitation, to be precise. And I believe it will be educational for you as well. Would the two of you mind accompanying me? Not at all. Wonderful. Let me know when you have seen enough here, and we'll make our way. So, I'll talk to Sveen quick. She's going to follow me around. I do have to go this way, sort of. So, I'm going to come over here. Grab the Ethernet shard. That's one more Ethernet shard. I now have two Ethernet shards and the Etherite, so... things a little easier. Whoa! Let's go. go. This way. Be up and then over. Easy enough. Level 100 Black Mage. Alright, speak to Sveen.
right, cool. So now we continue going, apparently. It's this way, though. So what just happened there uh, was we talked about uh, the naming, the, how this cafe that we were just at, which is called Mosaic, came to be named. Turns out it came to be named <clears throat> by, uh, quickly attuned to the ether, uh, ethernet shard ethernet shard whatever I stepped away just a second too soon all right now we talk to Sveen and here we are these buildings are where our citizens live and they're massive each one is bigger than the palace they have to be for just about all Alexandrians have apartments here lest you wonder I'm here to visit some people. The apartments is in the building on the left here at the residential radius 914. Residential radius? That's right. Come. The door opens automatically. Oh my goodness. There we go. Here. talk to them here. I don't particularly care enough to, though. At this point, I really just want to push story. This is the place. A mother and son live here. Abs! Will it be voiced? One can only hope. That's a dude? I thought that was a chick. Hello, Isadora. Your Majesty, you came. That looks like a chick. I have friends with me today. Is that alright? Of course. Friends of the Queen are friends of ours. Please, make yourselves at home. It's like the facial features of a chick. That's, that's a dude? What? Oh, no, that is the chick. The dude is the kid on the bed. How has Milos been? There's been no change, but the symptoms are thankfully mild today. That explains why it looks like a woman. It is actually a woman. Good. Hello, Milos. Have you missed me? My son was born with Levin's sickness, a severe etheric imbalance towards lightning. As a result, he suffers, suffers from paralysis, he cannot walk, and struggles to speak. For a blessing, he still has his hearing, yet even on bad days, he can communicate with his eyes. I see. Sveen visits often, does she? She does. Milos simply adores her. Sometimes he even manages a smile when she's here. What of yourself, Isadora? How are you holding up? You needn't worry about me, your majesty. You always make time for us, and we have everything we need. I'm glad to hear that, but you mustn't strain yourself, understood? Jeez. There's nothing you can do for him. Perhaps treatment with souls, or... Unfortunately, no. While souls can revive those who have met with an accident, they cannot reverse the effects of old age and illness. Truth be told, many children are born like Milos. The illness has existed for generations, but we've been unable to find a cure. The cause is quite clear, though. The excess lightning in the environment. It's no coincidence the number of cases has risen, risen dramatically these past 30 years. It's all my fault. Sveen's beating herself up again. What was that? I'm sorry, Isadora, but I must be going. 
I promise to make it a proper visit next time, with treats to share. There's no need to apologize, Your Majesty. If it weren't for you, Milos and I wouldn't still be here. Thank you, Queen's Fiend. And then he goes back to sleep. Just like that. It's my pleasure, Milos. I'll be back soon, so be a good boy. For your mother and for me. Alright, now it's time to start the 98 quests. Alright, on to the 98 quests. I get a new weapon from this. Whoa! I'm about to be level 100. Very close, actually. Down to the last 25 quests of the game. So, gonna have to take the etherite. We're gonna have to go back to the etherite from the ethernet point here in the residential sector. Add break in two in uh, three minutes, guys. It's just under three minutes now. Resolution is where we're going next. I don't know why I went to this one instead of the correct one. Because I'm definitely not making ter the best decisions. So there's that one there and in the government sector. And then to the right is the other three etherates. Ethernet shards, rather. Alrighty. So the Sphine just told her there's no need to be afraid, that they're very safe. And, of course, as per usual, Mama T said she wasn't scared, despite being terrified. Ethernet shard here. And now we gotta speak with Sveen. Right up here. And another ad. Will this one be voiced? 
Uh, I keep saying ads instead of free cutscenes. I'm not with it right now. Though there's an ad starting in five seconds. The ad is now running. We're about to run anyways. Run for a minute and thirty seconds. Strange contraptions everywhere you look. What's that? An infusion station. It dispenses souls in exchange for credits. Through hard work, citizens can obtain the peace of mind provided by spare souls. It's the way of life for Alexandrians, and has been for quite some time. But I imagine it must be difficult for outsiders to comprehend. That's putting it lightly. To be honest, it sounds disturbing. Still, I won't dismiss it out of hand. Practices like these don't arise from nothing. There's a reason why your culture is the way it is, and I'd like to understand. Won't you tell us some of your realm's history? I'm about to choose with knowledge comes appreciation for this one. Very well. Be warned though that it may take a while. In the distant past, over a thousand years ago it said, lightning energy began to swell in our world. According to ancient records that date back around eight centuries, the rainy season spanned a quarter of the year, during which time severe thunderstorms ravaged the land. Four centuries later, this season had lengthened to nearly half the year. The trend continued, with our ancestors spending longer and longer languishing beneath storm clouds. Crops failed, and livestock starved. But amidst this growing desperation, a miraculous material was discovered that promised salvation. Electrope. The stuff that's used everywhere here. Indeed. One day, when out inspecting a forest after lightning had caused a fire, a villager came upon a curious black ore none had seen before. Testing revealed that the ore possessed a singular property. It could store lightning and convert it to other energies. In that instant, the scourge of endless storms became a blessing. Dubbed Electrope, the ore found use in myriad inventions and dramatically improved people's lives. So much so, in fact, that all nations soon became dependent upon it, despite the difficulty of obtaining it in quantity. Supply was chronically scarce, and when nations couldn't meet their needs with their own deposits, some resorted to taking Electrope from others. Fighting was isolated and sporadic, until Electrope came to be used in warfare. First in the weaponry of invaders, then in the countermeasures of defenders, and then in every aspect of combat where an advantage might be had. This served only to exacerbate the ore shortage, 
leading to further escalation. Before long, the entire world was engulfed in a terrible war known as the Storm Surge. As the war came to a head, Alexandria's neighbor, Lindblom, committed its stores of Electroke to the production of a weapon of mass destruction. They deployed it on the front lines and triggered a calamity of frightful magnitude. Not even their own scientists had anticipated the force of the lightning that was unleashed. The energy inundated the entire continent laying it to waste. So that's how your world came to be this way. Well, the options I have are I'm put to mind of the Flood of Light, just like the Flood of Darkness sounds an awful lot like an Umbral Calamity. I'm gonna go with just like the Flood of Darkness because it, uh, you know, the Flood of Darkness was completely done but did not cause a rejoining. The Flood of Light didn't complete or would have caused a rejoining, so it kind of, this point tracks. You truly know a great many things that I don't. I should like to learn about you too sometime. But to continue the tale, the people of Alexandria had already lost much to the war. They lost almost everything else to the Leaven. Those who survived bore deep scars tormented by the memory of loved ones taken too soon. Though they yet lived, the cruel specter of death was with them always. Seeking a solution, our scientists turned once more to Electrope, and after extensive research, they developed the means to preserve memory and soul Physical death isn't the end. So long as our memories endure, we may live on. This belief sustained us then, and it sustains us now, granting us comfort. That's quite a tale. Your Majesty, help me! I beg you, help me! W what's the matter? I've got no souls left. Not a single one! But the lot at Soul Supply refused to give me any! Please, you must do something! My apologies, Your Majesty. This man, he does no work. Instead, he drinks his days away on true view. He has only himself to blame if he has no credits for souls. That's not true. I'm a fighter at the Arcadian. Or rather, I was. I haven't been allowed to fight because of the King's decree. It isn't my choice. I see. You're a brave warrior of the arena. I want to help you, I sincerely do, but I cannot give you preferential treatment. Then open up the Arcadian again, so I can fight! I'm sorry, but that's not my decision to make. The King requires feral souls for war. He doesn't wish for them to be expended on amusements. <laughs> You're useless! A queen in naught but name! <laughs> Insolent wretch! How dare you take that tone with her majesty! 
It's quite all right. Such things don't bother me, nor do I think ill of this man. Hear me. Though I cannot grant you a soul, I mean it when I say I want you to live. I love all of you equally, dearly. You are as family to me, and it pains me to see you deny yourself hope. I want you to find a happiness all your own, even if you must grow it from the smallest seed of joy. Out there, somewhere, is a reason for you to smile again. We all need to vent our frustrations from time to time. I will always be willing to lend an ear. I yes, Mum. Of course. Even without a spare soul, I suppose I'm fine as long as I stay in Solution 9. I apologize for my rudeness. Good day to you. Keep your chin up, my friend. And when you feel better, I'm sure you'll find another way to apply your talents. Sorry you had to see that. Let's keep moving, shall we? Right. I believe we've visited all the main facilities. With that, I declare our tour concluded. That man from before... Does that sort of thing happen often? Somewhat. It's unavoidable. Hardships are a fact of life. Our soul management system has sustained our realm for generations, but it isn't without flaws. For one, people have become accustomed to having spare souls. Without them, they feel vulnerable and anxious. Some claim it may also have contributed to a decline in births. Just thinking out loud, but would it be possible to do away with the system? <sighs> no. I know it isn't easy to change one's beliefs and way of life. The Mamolja had their reasons for their reliance on blessed siblings, much as you have yours for souls. But if we defeated Zorolja, you'd be able to make all the decisions, right? Then we could work together to fix things, restore your realm to where it belongs, and see where we can go from there. Listen to me. There's something that I need to tell you. What is it? Uh, actually, never mind. It's nothing of import. Well, it was lovely showing you around. Uh, of course. Of course. Thanks so much for the tour. We've learned not only about your realm, but you as well. For now, our priority is Aralja. But once we've dealt with him, perhaps I can return the favor and show you to Lihola. I'd like that very much.
It seems I've no choice but to continue down this path. Forgive me, Val Wuklamat, but I must disappoint you. Something tells me she's about to go get herself killed. Like a dunce. Oh, man. Right. Let's go ahead and get the inventory. And now we're going to equip the new weapon. Hells yeah, another cutscene. Is it gonna be voiced? Who knows? It is not. This is the right place, you think? I don't see the others, though. Well, rather than sitting and waiting, we might as well explore a bit more. Axel die, look over there. I'm a Mulja child. What are they doing here? too, right? The resemblance to Zeralja? Blue scales of the Bunova, Bunova with the features of a Hubago? This can't be a coincidence. At any rate, it wouldn't do to leave such a small child on their own. Come on, let's go after them.
doing my math right, I have 24 quests left, including this one that just started. I'm supposed to survey this destination, so... Another cutscene! found it. Not sure what you're looking at, but it, sound, it does seem lively, she says. Yeah, it sounds about right, Lamatier. It's a bar, so... That building's just about the only one that isn't lit up. Not open for business at the moment, I guess? Oh, the child's back. Panic. You scared the child. I didn't see you there. Listen, we don't mean you any harm. We just want to talk. It's a bit odd, don't you think? They run off when we approach, only to suddenly reappear. Could it be they want to take us somewhere? Is that the way of it? You want us to follow you? Nodding. Okay. So it is. Alright then. Lead the way. Cool. Time to follow a child. Follow the child. If I lose sight of it or leave Wuklamont, I have to restart. So I'm gonna have to come grab these Ethernet shards, the Ethernet shards, just a little bit later on, I think. Slower than I run, but faster than I walk. The most fucking obnoxious thing. I have to follow somebody, but I run faster than them while walking slower. I'm going to go insane. Alright, cool. Is this where you wanted to bring us? We're in a different bar. Not true view, but a different bar all the same. But a bar all the same. So, that's fun. What is this place? If you're meant to relax here, it isn't working for me. Hey, what's your name? It shook its head. So you're still not inclined to talk. He'll only talk if he's completely comfortable with you. Hey, somebody named Melancholy. You know him? After a fashion, but never mind that. How about something to wet your whistle? Adorable as you are, it's on the house. I can recommend our special, Her Majesty. I'll prepare one without liquor for the boy, too. Thanks, but no thanks. We're supposed to meet a friend named Kafqua. Kafsiwa. Kef I don't know. But we ran into the child on the way and he led us here. 
Oh, so you're with Kasiwa. In that case, go have a chat with Big Tassos there. He'll show you a f to a fun place. He'll show us to where we need to go. What about him? I don't think he's in a mood to talk, so he can tend the bar with me. This has taken a turn for the strange, but you don't think we're walking into a trap, do you? Damned if this doesn't have suspicious written all over it. This is... I think that the kiddo is who wanted us to come here. That is who she sent. What is this fun place meant to be? Is Kasiwa there? Well, I suppose there's only one way to find out. And with that... I now have the chest gear. Just realized I'm going to need to um to turn that to inventory. That's kind of useless. Ad break in three minutes, everybody. Keep that in mind. Ooh, that does look nice, but it's not the glamour I've been using this whole time, so. I get pants next. This area is off, normally off limits, but Kafsi was told us about you. Just follow the corridor and head into the room at the end. Let's go, Axel Die. Whatever happens, you won't catch me being surprised. And on we go. Twenty-three more quests, though. Getting closer. Wonderful! They're here. One moment. Gonna mute before we continue on. We've only just arrived ourselves. Amazing. Welcome to the back room. Oblivion's humble headquarters. A hideout tucked behind a drinking hole. Brings back memories, doesn't it? Our members here are mainly creators and adapters. That is, scientists and engineers who specialize in electro... their skills to provide support to our field operatives. Genel, Shale, be so kind as to give our friends an overview of your duties. Well, there's provisioning. <sighs> Gotta have supplies to fight the good fight, ain't ya? Luckily, we got the tools to craft most of what we need. Gathering intelligence is another vital aspect of our work. Everkeep's core system is a veritable treasure trove of information. You just need to know how to get in and find it. We also handle surveillance and communications, watching the enemy's movements and coordinating our own. That sort of thing. And among all our activities, we spend a fair bit of effort investigating preservation. The 
organization credited with laying the foundations of electro technology. From the soul management system to Everkeep's design, they're behind just about everything you see here. It'd be no exaggeration to say they made this realm what it is. But their magnum opus was without a doubt the power which was used to join Alexandria to Tural. Interdimensional fusion. Said power isn't unlike my summoning technique and the magic within Asm's crystal. Yet, though the effect is localized, to be able to fuse realities. Even with my knowledge, I struggle to conceive how it could be possible. Incidentally, the founders of our group, a husband and wife, were members of preservation at one point. That they opposed the fusing of worlds, and so defected in order to prevent it. While not entirely unexpected, given what we have seen, this is still quite the revelation. By the by, that's an interesting earring you have there. A novel way of carrying a data storage device. Oh, you didn't know. Well, as a precautionary measure against machine infiltration, we scan everyone as they enter. And when we scanned you, we detected a small quantity of electrope. Though it's been dressed up, that earring is a storage device, and no mistake. Bought it from a shop here, did you? No, it, it, it isn't bought, but inherited. So these people sent you through the portal along with the earring. Do you know aught of them? Listen, Kryle. The husband and wife who founded our order. It's believed that they were Malala. Though we have no evidence at present, we can't rule out the possibility that they were your parents, or perhaps close relations. This I posit because they were the very individuals who spearheaded the research into interdimensional fusion. As traitors to preservation, they were relentlessly pursued. If they had a child they feared they couldn't keep safe, entrusting her to the people of another world might have been their best option. My parents, the founders of Oblivion. Tell me everything you know about them, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant, anything and everything. We don't even know their names, I'm afraid. In a bid to elude preservation's agents, we suspect they erased all trace of themselves. I'm sorry we couldn't be of more help. If you're interested, though, you're welcome to review our accumulated data. Yes, please. As an individual and member of my order, both, I wish to learn as much as possible. I should also like to peruse the data. Where the joining of realities is concerned, I may well be of service. Of course. Feel free to peruse to your heart's content. Thank you. If you like, I can examine your earring. I have to say, the prospect that it belonged to our founders has me itching to take a look. I dare say we have enough eyes to pour over your records. Is there any other way we might be productive? Mm, not right now. We're still waiting for Zoralgia to make the next move. In that case, Alice, would you mind accompanying me? 
Gladly. Oh, I'm bugging it up again. Uh, never a moment's peace. Pay him no mind. I don't. Oi, you two there. Why don't you give me a hand, would you? Don't matter who. Uh, I just remembered I have matters to discuss with Shay. <laughs> that is great. Aaron feels scared, and now I look terrified at the end of that, but you know what? I'm excited. And also, apparently, invisible. Alright, what you got for me? About to be sent to get an energy tonic. Being sent to get energy drinks. Hells yeah. After. There we are. Suddenly having some random connection issues. Don't know why. So I'm gonna go this way quickly. I'm gonna grab this Ethernet shard here. I'm not seeing any issues with my stream happening at all. Just that the game is having some connection issues apparently. Okay then. I now have a rainbow aura, like I'm a Super Saiyan or something. This is a thing. 
Okay, it's gone. Alright, Tassos. Let me into the back room, my guy. got the aura. All right, that's that quest done. about that Mamonja child. Could he be... Yeah. Likelihood. He's Zoralja's son. So you think so too. But what is he doing here? He was abandoned, the poor dear. We found him in the drift downs a few years ago. To think he'd cast aside his child. We can't say for certain who he was born to, or why he was on his own. But he's a blue-scaled Hubigo, and Zoralja is the only other one around. That being the case, everyone assumes their father and son. Even the boy has put two and two together. This all happened when he was very little, so he has no recollection of his parents. <sighs> it breaks my heart to think of it. What's his name? Kuluja. It was my hope that he'd grow up to be a man of principle, like his grandfather. <laughs> it's a fine name. Uh, I should mention that the boy is a little unusual. At first, I intended to raise him as my own. But just when I thought he was warming to me, he suddenly disappeared. We searched high and low for several days. And where should he turn up? But in the wilds near Everkeep. What? It's a miracle he didn't fall prey to fiends. See? That's another unusual thing. Creatures don't seem to attack him. He could pick his way through the Thunder Yards as if he were on a stroll. On making inquiries, we learned that he had been living alone and receiving food from the people of the outskirts. This became something of a pattern. We track him down and bring him back, only for him to disappear again within a matter of days. He would return to the wilds without fail, and once again rely on the kindness of strangers to survive. Finally, I took the hint and left him be, giving him the solitude he prefers, and lending a hand only when he explicitly asks. If Gulucha is Zorolja's child, that makes him my nephew. Assuming he's willing, I'd be glad to take him in like Papa did for me. Mm, but seeing as I'm here to kill his father, I don't know if it would be right. Who was that? Oh dear, it's Kalulja. Don't tell me he heard everything. Oh, this is my fault. I asked that he be kept away, but I should have taken more precautions. I'm 
going after him. I need to explain. Wait, Lamachi. I understand your haste, but it'd be best to coordinate a search. Hakiwa, do you have any idea where he might go? There's no telling, I'm afraid. He could as easily be outside the tower as here in Solution 9. If those who can fight would search below, my mother and I will scour the district. Sounds like a plan. Let's get to it. Pants have been acquired! Woo! New pants. Anyways, um... Let me just make sure I can actually equip these pants. Okay, I do have space for the pants. Makes things easier, at least. Put on the new pants. Oh, cool, it just didn't change anything that whole time. It's fun. Alright, next we get gloves. And I'm already about to be level 100. If I do this the way that I intend on it, it'll take me but a moment. I grab the two remaining Ethernet shards, and that'll allow me to fast travel to the exit immediately. me to speak with her in front of Everkeep. So I gotta grab the True View and the Arcadian. I'm gonna grab the Arcadian, then go up, grab True View, and then go back. The thing that's crazy to me is I'm still not dropping frames or anything, but now the game is starting to have some connection problems which normally it's the game is fine but I drop a bunch of frames randomly when my internet's acting up and it only ever acts up like this when my router needs to update and it's not updating you know didn't update for some reason. So right now, that's my current problem is that my router needs to do it needs to update and it didn't decide it just decided it didn't want to update apparently. And so my minor connection issues are related to that. But until I finish today's set of streams, I don't want to do that just cuz it kind of gets in the way of things. Oh, connection issue again but I'm not disconnecting at least from the looks of it and with that I get to just dip woo woo And we talk to Woke Lamott. I'm gonna head beyond the big wall, it's, she, she says.
trying to get it to let me do the thing, but my connection is suddenly spazzing, so anyway, now it's letting me do the thing! Woo! Trial is down there. Let me off to fucking talk to her game. Thanks. Cutscene. Woo. She knows who Galuldra is, at least. See, no offense. Taken. My name is Tapu. You know, can recognize people by their footfalls. He didn't come this way. Where in the world could he be? I do not know your voices. Who are you to Galolja, and why do you search for him? I'm family, though we're not related by blood. His father is my brother. I've only just met Galolja, and we haven't had a chance to talk properly. But I'm about to do something that will make him hate me, and I wanted the chance to explain. His father is your brother, then that means you're... Yes, I'm Wook Lamott, Vow of Resolve of Tuliolol. And I've journeyed here to bring my brother Zulroldra to account for murdering our people and our father. When all is said and done, Galulja may want nothing to do with me. Nonetheless, I'll always consider him family, I'll always be there for him, and I want him to know that. It tears you apart to do what you must, the quiver in your voice tells the tale. Gulja was heading headed south. There, he has a place that is as close to a, a home as he knows. Find and bear your heart to him. Should he turn in, should he in turn bear his heart to you? Accept and respect his wishes, as Queen Sphine respected ours when she granted us a place in her realm. I will. Don't worry. But, uh, what do you mean when you say Sphine respected your wishes? Out of concern for our well-being, Her Majesty had urged us to reside inside Everkeep. When we declined, not only did she gracefully accept our decision, she granted us the necessary supplies to make our home here. And since then, she has paid us regular visits to see how we fare. <laughs> that sounds like Sphine, all right. Well, thank you for telling me about Galulja. I'll find him, and then we'll have a good talk. We continue south, it seems. Let's keep our eyes peeled as we make our way. Yeah, of course, but first I want to get this chunk of the map. Just because Fire of Trial is interesting to me. No other reason. No, oh, won't let me go there. Shame. I wanted to unlock that chunk of map, but that's not currently possible. So, away we go. Oh, hey, look, an ether current. Well, 
we'll have two here in Heritage found then. I'd unlock flight in the earlier maps yet, but that's stuff I could do off stream. This map, the map before it of Shaloni, those are both, as well as, you know, and Yachtel. I need to unlock flight in those three maps. I've already gotten it in those two, though. seem at level 99 I have a dungeon and a um and a trial both but right now that is not a concern of mine though my reaper is very close to level 100 an ad in like two and a half minutes, everyone, by the way. That's for those of you here on Twitch, that is. Uh, the YouTube folks won't have that issue. If you're watching this back on my VODs channel, that is. It's a town. And half of it is submerged. Thanks for, you know, pointing that out. The architecture looks nothing like we, what we've seen so far. It's more Charlian. Ah, there he is, among the ruins. I only caught a glimpse, but there's no mistaking that tiny silhouette. Let's hurry after him. It'd be a disaster if a building collapsed while he's inside. Old Charlie in ruins. Got the gloves. Make sure I have room for gloves. I don't. Alright, we're gonna just return that to inventory for now. And return that to inventory as well. And then we're gonna go here. Use that. Sort things like so. Gonna equip the new gloves. Doesn't affect my appearance that much because it basically looks the same as my regular gloves that I use. Ads are about to start here on Twitch. It looks like my connection issues have subsided. Ads have begun. I am now max level. Dang. Crazy to me. I haven't even hit the level 99 quests yet, and I'm already now level 100. I'm only on... The fourth level 98 quest. I can stop getting stuck on things, that would be cool. All right. 
Alright, that makes me now. I have 21 more quests until I finish the game. It's been five hours of stream, an hour and 32 minutes into the second recording. <laughs> I think if I make it to the later, you know, the like, get down to like four level 100 quests today, I would be content with stopping at that point. Now that ads have ended. There he is. Follow him quietly without being noticed. Again. This is great. Another one of these. Oh, connection issues just started back up for the game. Dang it. Going that way was not the move. Frustrating. And attempt it again. There's the connection issues again. So I'm basically just going to kind of stand right here. Until he goes around the corner. Dang it, I stepped out too soon. It's about a second or two too soon. That's annoying. Oh, man. That's better. Okay. I'm going to wager a guess that I should stop here for the moment. And he's about to turn around. Yep. further forward right now just because I'm nervous he's going to turn around but I guess not so we'll approach and stop here behind this wall he's probably about to turn around again no yep good thing I stayed right here for the moment quickly. And at this corner here. As long as I stay outside of the passive detection range, there we are. Up the stairs. complete. There we are. 
Made it all the way there. way on such short legs it's a relief he didn't get hurt muting my mic again What's under So he's looking after those little ones. Bulja. Not another step. What? A sentry? Run, Guluja, run! My name is Wuklamat, and I've come to talk to Gulurja. Is that so? I'm sorry if I scared you. I want to get to know you better. That's all. And you, my boy. Do you wish to speak with them? I heard them talking. She said she's going to kill my father. Villains! I will deal with them forthwith! But... I... I want to get to know her, too. I see. If that is your desire, then I shall stand aside. All right, then. Let's talk, you and I. Look. But, uh, who's the ancient-looking and articulate machine? If I look ancient, it is because I am. This has been my vessel for no less than 380 years. Vessel? Otis is my friend. When I was hungry and sad, he came and looked after me. He cooks for me and, and teaches me all kinds of things. Like how to read and write and... and not be noticed by dangerous creatures. This machine cooks for you. ...and teaches you about fiends. What is he exactly? Ah! I remiss of me. I had neglected to introduce myself. Sir Otis Valona, Lord Captain of the Royal Knights of Alexandria. At your service. You're Captain of the Knights? with whom you wish to speak. Not that I'm averse to taking a walk down memory lane. For reference, I had said, uh, 
You're different than other machines. I would like to hear your tale. But ere I regale you, we must take our repast. Emil, here. I hate to turn down food, but I prefer to have this conversation in the back room. Please, I'm really hungry. All right, all right. A repast it is. She's going to spoil her nephew, silly. I'll send word to Erinville so the others can stop worrying. Now, if I might prevail upon your assistance, I shall whip up my most delectable specialty. With that, we are one step closer. Alright, so, Wuklamont and Galulja are now... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're going and getting vegetables from nearby townsfolk. And I... am going to procure meat! to specifically go to this destination, kill a young wolback, get its meat, and then move on. Nope. I should have prepped it before doing that. I didn't think it would immediately consider me in combat at that point, though. I take the meat back. It's crazy that I'm already level 100. And I'm only on 98 quests. All because I did the roulettes today. And I could have Technically switched class. For that, but... I didn't, because I don't exactly think all the time. I'm going to talk to Otis here. Give him the Woolback Loin. He's saying 400 years ago he would have recruited me to the Knights, apparently. I'm gonna go to my inventory. I'm gonna get the boots.
cannot currently apply glamour plates, sadly. Gotta get some Electro to try and uh, do that. We're on Memories of a Night is the name of the current quest that I'm doing. the long way around for no reason, I guess. And I can't use this building at all. It's not one of them. Okay. Dang it, man. What have I done to myself? There's another one right here. This will make two. Now then, given I'm down to the last nine, uh, sorry, last 19, not nine, quests of the MSQ, I'd say we've made good progress in the five and a half hours I've been live. And we're not done yet. My goal at this point is to be down to four MSQ quests in the level 100 quests before I end today's stream. At that point, I'll be content with ending. However, I might even just push to finish today. Do something fun instead for the two hours on Friday instead of story pushing like I have been in Final Fantasy XIV. And not to say that I'm not having fun doing this, mind you. Just that it's something that is motivated entirely by fun, not by a let's play. Like this. Of course. I have to kill this thing now, too. Hopefully it'll give me an opportunity to smack it from the side. There we are. This is the last piece of processed electro. I have to take these pieces to Golja.
Alright, now we speak with Otis. And a cutscene! Will it be voiced? It is not. All right. Continuing on. This is the kind of things families, the kind of thing uh, families do. Gulja. We have meals together and talk about what's on our minds. So, you ate with your father? Yes, with them and my brothers. It's mostly the head of Resolve and I doing the talking, though. Koana and the Head of Reason occasionally joined in, and Zeral just spoke when he was spoken to. You said you have two papas. Does that mean one is yours and the other is my father's? No, no, both are our, our father. He's what's he's what people called blessing blessed siblings, a Mamulja with two heads. Zeralja is his true-born child, while Koana and I were adopted and don't share the same blood. But that doesn't make us any less a family. What matters is that our hearts are connected. The Head of Resolve taught me that. Family. I feel bad for this kid. He really is lonely. Do you have someone like that too? A person you think is family, even though you don't share the same blood? I'm looking at Alice. That's a good question. What about you? He's asking me. Huh? I do, and they're very dear to me. At this point, I would think my character thinks of all of the Scions as family. I'd like to meet them one day. So, Gululja, I'm hoping that we could be family, you and I. Won't you tell me about yourself? You really want to know about me? After this cutscene, though, I am going to be, um... Ending this recording to start the next. After a short break, that is. I do! I want to know all about you. The things you love, the things you hate, anything and everything. I want to know all about you, too! He's all excited and happy. He's got a family. That reminds me, we were hoping to hear your story too, Otis. As you wish. Be forewarned that mine is a tale that will be long in recounting. It was before lightning had altered the world that I was appointed Lord Captain of the Royal Knights. We're talking about hundreds of years prior to the Calamity, right? Indeed, earlier still than when I assumed this mechanical form. 454 years ago, to be precise. Then, you used to be a normal person? Oh yes, I was once flesh and blood like you, and I proudly served as a Knight of Alexandria. So rather than a machine that behaves like a person, you were an... You were... Are... An actual person. How is this possible? It is only natural that you are confused. Hear my tale to the end and all shall become clear. Nodding. Let's go. The foremost duty of the royal knights was the protection of the royal family. 
In my time, that was their majesties, the king and queen, and their only child, her highness the princess. By then, every nation of our star was embroiled in some manner of conflict over Electrope. Thus was our kingdom drawn into a war with its neighbor. <coughs> Two and a half minutes to lads, folks, here on Twitch. That was... That war was the catalyst for the great calamity that altered the environment. Countless countrymen lost their lives amidst the chaos, the king and queen among them. For a blessing, we were able to protect the princess who then rose to the occasion and brought hope to her people in those trying times. So kind-hearted was our young queen that, at her behest, we even took refugees from the enemy nation. But sadly, her reign was cut short. Like many others, her body had been ravaged by lightning, and one day, she collapsed and passed away. How tragic. Hey, I. Uh, Neri was there a citizen whose eyes remained dry, and many a moon was spent constructing a great tomb worthy of her memory. Yet, I clung to hope still. For, while Her Majesty was on her deathbed, the kingdom's finest scientists had successfully extracted her soul. Did we hear that right? Extracted her soul? Our flesh may wither and die, but so long as we are remembered, we may live on. This age-old belief has always comforted our people, but as casual, uh, casualties mounted in the wake of the Calamity, we sought to make it into reality through the power of Electro. In time, we succeeded in developing the means to preserve the soul, and it was used to spare the Queen eternal death. Yet, it wasn't enough to simply prevent the soul's departure, for the ultimate goal was to recreate a person as they were in life and this required that their memories be further extracted from their soul. It took many more years of research to make this possible, by which time I had become a gray old man. With my days numbered, I did not hesitate to volunteer myself as a test subject for the procedure. So it was that I attained this vessel, and by my successful rebirth, I paved the way for those who are recreated from the memories of the departed. The Endless, they are called. If your tale is true, then the queen that your people brought back to life... It would be Sphin, wouldn't it? It wouldn't be Sphin, would it? Is actually what it says. Oh-ho, so you know Her Majesty as well. My description of her boundless kindness must have paled in comparison to what you have no doubt felt in her presence. I haven't met her myself, I confess, not since assuming my current form. Wouldn't want to frighten the living daylights out of her. <laughs> He's laughing and having fun. Enjoying himself. That laugh sounded terrible. But I can't exactly force laugh very well. Alright guys. It's the end of this cutscene. I'm going to end this recording here we'll start the next one and then keep pushing however I will be taking a brief break on Twitch